History is my passion because of education. I think there's an opportunity to change education in the world to make it more critical thinking, to utilize divergent thinking. That is applicable to the museum world. I'm fascinated by museums, museums that are effective because you are to walk in, hear a great story, and know by the time that you walk out, you're ready to buy books off the shelves because it has introduced a topic to you that you'll be fascinated with. This was my experience that started when I worked in the Abraham Lincoln Presidential Museum and Library. I was working as a volunteer and I was working as an intern at the Illinois Historic Preservation Agency. I was asked to attend a teleconference in the Presidential Library, one in which Bob Rogers of the Bob Rogers Company Imagination Arts spoke at. In his teleconference, he shared his passion for storytelling. I immediately became entranced. I became so entranced that I thought to myself, this is a dream job. This is something that if I could work with someone like this, I could really become, a, a, not only a storyteller, I could become someone who works in museums and effectively will change the way museums uh, will change in the future. So I, I threw out a, a, a wrench and I, I just sent an email to Bob Rogers, one in which explaining that I've listened, that I've worked, I've experienced, and this is how I want to change the world. And in response, he um, got back to me a month, two months later, you know those California CEO types, that they, they, they uh, well he, he responded and, and said, I don't really want to respond to you via email, I'd rather talk to you on the phone. So we had a two hour phone conversation in that phone conversation, he explained to me uh, about where I can go and how I can get there. And he did that through the humbleness of, of his, of his of self-giving and his ability to see my A to A prime moment. And in that, he sent me to Houston and flew me to the American Association Museum Conference, which is the world's largest museum conference. He sent me there as a BRC staff member for the weekend. In that experience, I met his staff. He was unable to attend, but I met his entire staff, and I learned their dedication, and I learned how to create effective museums. It's not only about engaging your, your uh, audience, it's also about engaging your employees. It's about taking them and, and giving them a story that they're going to follow through with. And I learned so many other things that I think someday I'll be able to begin applying to the museum field. It was only the beginning of an A to A prime moment for myself, but it was an opportunity that returning home from Houston after a weekend with them, I learned this is not only what I'm passionate about, this is with the, the conference uh, had all the competition of Bob Rogers there and I learned what separates the BRC imagination arts and makes them storytellers, what makes them effective. Through that, I returned home and I learned this is something I can become passionate about and this is something that my critical thinking experience at Milliken has allowed me to achieve because I, I was nerve-wracked going down to Houston. I, I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to communicate my passion with them and where I'm coming from, but they were willing to meet me where I'm at because I walked in with confidence, with a practiced confidence. One that was not perfected, but continuing to be practiced. And Milliken offered that to me, and I am forever, forever grateful for it.